Chepjen, Senegalese international dish. Come on into Jenny's walk and let's do a lovely version of this Chepjen, Senegali, lovely jollof rice style with that snail and that smoked fish. Come on in, let's get cooking. Hi foodies, so let's take a look at the ingredients that we're going to be using to make this lovely Chepjen rice. So I'll be using fish. So here I have three slices of uh, tile fish i love these fish look at that they're very firm and nice this was fresh fish i just give them a gentle uh freeze a little busy you know so i'm going to wash my fish really nicely here with this lime fresh lime and of course to make that chep gen we must have that snail so this here is that dry snail that we bought this is what give it that Senegali beautiful taste. You know, it's a distinctive taste you will get. And this here is the dry fish. With all these two main ingredients, you will not get that perfect um, chop gen rice, which is Senegalese international dish. We're going to be needing some tomato paste. And of course, we must have that chop gen rice. I am using broken jasmine rice. That is the authentic rice that is used, the broken rice, whether whatever rice brand you have. So I'm not using long green, it's broken rice. There you go. So let's take a look now in our platter here and see what we have. So here I have my carrots and I have my garlic, piece of ginger. I have some bouillon here. This is shrimp bouillon to go up with a nice fishy flavor. Now this is going to add also into seasoning of that fish. I'm gonna to show to you how to do it. This is another flavored bouillon. Here I have my mini bell peppers, a sweet, mini sweet peppers. A piece of ginger this is that habanero we're not going to pop these remember you saw in that video where i tried the rice in the restaurant and they serve it with one of this so that would be mine and i have some okra the eggplant i'm going to wash this really nice and show to you how we're going to put this eggplant in and here we have our cabbage i'm going to use half of this cabbage pumpkin uh, if you look at the authentic recipe, this is what it happened. It's pumpkin, so I have that lovely piece of kabocha squash there. I have here the laurel leaf or the bay leaf. The long one is the laurel leaf. The shorter ones is the bay leaf. I'm using a now white onion. And of course, that uh, cassava or yuca we're going to be using. So let's get started. Let me get on with that um, fish. Our tile fish here that I have that fresh lime. I'm going to squeeze it up and give it a good wash, soak it in some milk and bring back some lovely freshness. My foodies who know Jenny's work, they know how I'm going to prepare that. So lovely dish we're going to be making here today, my dear foodies. Check Jen, Senegali uh, in West Africa, but this is more the Senegali version of that Check Jen rice or jollof rice. Um, we use the snail and the dry fish. Okay, foodies, so in here we have our parsley, ginger, garlic, some hot peppers, and I'm going to add a piece of the bouillon, the shrimp bouillon, and some black peppers and stuff. So what we're going to do, we're going to be mixing this up, and we're going to be stuffing the fish. So you're just going to mix it up really nicely, and we're going to stuff the fish. And I forgot to mention to you, we're going to also be needing some sour, which is tamarind or tambarina. As you know it as, that is going to also go into this delicious dish. So this is our fish all washed really nicely with the lime. So this have, let me take this one at a time to show to you. So there is bone at around here in the body and there's bone here, I could feel it. So you could use your knife and just take your finger and pierce it like that. And okay, this is a better part here for you. See that nice little slit there? you just stuff your fish there you go so we're gonna nice little slip you're not going to go through and through just gonna open it up like that this is how the Senegalese will just make that lovely little marinade with your parsley and all your aromatics fresh herbs and you just season and what I want to do I want to put my fish away that's a little bit that's it so you do all of them just like so and you put it to to marinate and then you you're ready now when you're ready there you go. <laughs> that looks marvelous right so we're going to leave that to marinate and just before we start i'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt into it uh the season already have salt but we may need a little bit of salt for tasting so there you go this is how you prepare that fish for that chuck gen 
Okay, foodies, so let us start with that lovely chep gen. So here is that fish that we marinated really nice. I actually did it overnight. I have all my vegetables, as you can see, everything all ready there, packed and put and washed and chopped and diced. So let's get started. So what I would like to do is to add three chilies in the pot. And I want to put, first thing we're gonna do is fry our fish. So our lovely pieces of fish. In my pot, I have my oil. I have three tablespoons full of oil. And in goes the three lovely pieces of pine fish. So let us get a good fry and then we're going to move on. So, okay, foodies, our fish fry really nicely. So I take these out and it's wise to take some of that oil out. So I took some of the oil out, I reserve it and I have it here on the side in case I need more oil, I will add it back. So this pepper have done its due. I'll take the peppers out also. And we could add the pepper back when we start boiling the vegetables. So at this point we want to add in all our onions. And we're gonna cook this onion for a good seven minutes before we add the rest of the ingredients. We want to really caramelize this onion. I'm gonna raise the heat back up and get all that lovely sweet flavor out of this onion. So let this get a five minutes. We'll be back with this lovely dish here, Chep Jen, Senegalese uh, international dish. Here at Jenny's Walk, so don't forget to like and share. You could send me stars so I could go around and do all these shopping and tours and bring back the recipe right here in Jenny's Walk so you could make your own Chep Jen rice. Okay, foodies, it have been five minutes now our onion hair here caramelizing i want you now adding that snail remember that snail i give it a good little wash i soak it for three minutes and i pat it dry we're going to add that in and this is that smoke fish i did the same thing i give it a good wash i soak it for five minutes it has a very strong ammonia scent oh my gosh but that is where all the flavors is in this lovely divine dish that we're making here today so let this go in here now and start frying to finish up the frying of the onions. Now you know this onions is very important to this dish. So let this fry nicely. Okay, Puri, so this looks marvelous and the kitchen smells so uh, different. <laughs> so I want to save some of this. I'm going to take some of this out because you remember that food that we I tried it had it was served with some of this this caramelized onions so I'm going to keep some of this on the side for serving <clears throat> and at this point now we want to add some garlic and remember that season with the parsley and all of those good stuff I'm going to add that in and in goes the tomato paste in a little corner and let this tomato paste get a little cook over there just like so and let these continue caramelizing on the end chef jen here from jenny's walk so let's see now we're going to mix all this up really lovely now and let this fry really beautiful let it continue frying and let that tomato paste get a good cook in there so remember we take some oil out my dear foodie so at this point if you see your pot need oil I see that my pot needs some oil, so I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. So you're gonna be adding little at a time how much you will need. I'll raise back up that heat again from medium to high. And I'm gonna continue cooking that tomato paste and those lovely flavorings in there. Let's take a look inside. So now we see that oil is floating to the top. At this point now, we're going to add our tambourine. We have those taste makers, that bay leaf, that pepper, all those taste makers going there. And I should drop this habanero pepper in there. That looks good. And we're going to add some water now to finish cooking up that lovely onions that we have in there. So this is some water here from that same fish bowl. We're going to add that water in there. 
And we're going to cook that onion so we don't see any more onions in there. Let's take a look at that onions now. Everything is going to dissolve really nicely. Oh, the onion seems to already went away. But we're going to give this a good little boil. There you go. Let this get a nice little boil and flavor up a bit. And get that onions a little more translucent. We're building flavors here, my dear foodies. Jenny's Walk bringing you a lovely Senegali authentic recipe here. Senegali's Rice Chep Jen. I'm trying my best to do it as authentic as possible. But then again, Senegali's Rice, Jenny's version. Here at Jenny's Walk. So food is, it has been seven minutes now and this looks really nicely. So now I want to add some more water in. And now we're going to be cooking our vegetables. So I tasted this broth or this liquid as you would, whatever you want to call it. I would say the broth and it tastes marvelous. So let's wait for this to come up to a nice little boil. We're going to start with the vegetables. Okay, foodies, what a beautiful boil we have there. So now I want to add the yuca or the cassava. We're going to add the hard vegetables to start cooking first. Or you could just add them and then take out as you go along. So in goes those olives I have here. I like my kabocha squash like this. It's very sweet. You should try it. I'm leaving the skin on. And we're going to drop all of this on in here also. Wow. How about just putting everything inside? So you do it how you want to. The okra goes in. Oh, piece of my cabbage is there. I do not want to go crazy. So it doesn't matter. You could just add your vegetables nicely. It's looking good already. And we're just gonna tuck the cabbage on the side right here. Beautiful. Now as for your eggplant, I did not cut my eggplant because this tend to, to get dark really quickly. So I'm now gonna cut it. Cut the bottom off. And you could cut it in half and half. leave it attached together you see that you see how i leave that head there you see how i leave the head there just leave it attached like that and put it in so it will stay together and now let this get a good boil put the lid on and put it on medium to low heat and let your vegetables boil okay foodie so it's come up it came up to a lovely boil here as you can see in my pot so I want to add the fish in to get a little cooking. My dear foodies, this was not the perfect fish. I think what I should have done was, um, I'm not happy with the fish. I think it should have been cut a lot thicker because um, I don't like the breaking of fish. I dislike that, absolutely. So this piece got broken a little bit. So we have to be very careful. I'm going to add all the juices in. And I'm going to stand right here and just let this fish cook for four minutes. And then I'm going to take it out. So when you choose in your fish, good advice here, have your fisherman slice your fish very thick, at least two inches or an inch and a half. This was pre-cut and was there already and I pick it up. Uh, it's a great fish. It's a firm, full, tough fish, but I guess it was sliced too thin. Little uh, tip there for you. So let me cook the fish for four minutes. Okay, so this is all our vegetables. I fish everything out. Everything seems to be cooked really nicely. So everything is out. And what you need to also do is take some of that liquid out because we're gonna need this to garnish. And I took those three habanero peppers out. So this is all done well and nice. So in here I have some finely chopped cilantro and our scallion. I'm gonna drop that in there. Now all we have in here is a snail and a fish. And we have our good old broth, still, still devoted to us. So this is my broken rice. You give this a wash until it start running, the water start running out very clear. You see the water is still running clear. This is two cups of rice. The best way to do it is in the same strainer. Just give it a wash, wash, wash until all that water just start running out clear. You want all the starches out. So we're going to cook that rice now into this broth. This is the ending up of this lovely dish here. Senegali, Chep Jen, 
you put the snail and the fish in there to give it that lovely taste if you don't like some of the vegetables it's not a problem i know many of you may not like that eggplant it's not a problem or even the yucca whatever you want whatever suits your family you go ahead and you do that you use what you want so we're going to put this in let me just take a taste wow this is awesome so i'm going to cook this on low heat now some of you may put the foil paper or you may put the parchment paper over the pot and cover it i don't need to do that so the master class pot has a very tight seal you don't have a problem i'm going to put the link under the recipe at the top and you could see where you could pick up your pots and whatever ingredients i have in here so don't forget to like and share this lovely recipe with your friends and your family. Join into Jenny's Walk and subscribe to my YouTube channel where you're going to see lots and lots of lovely tours. And right after my tours that I go in whatever uh, part I'll be doing, whether Italian, Indian, Caribbean dishes. This is a Senegali, a West Africa dish. I would always do the tour, the markets and do a dish for you. So, you know, we have a nice little culture there. And shout out to all my foodies around the world, Africa, West Africa, uh, Africa in a whole, everyone. Each and every one of you, I absolutely love you. So please leave in the comment below how you make your rice. Give me whatever tips you want to share with me. I'm always here. Jenny's Walk is always here and open. Thank you all for joining in and giving me all that lovely support, I must say. Thank you very much. Shout out to me and for all parts of the world. Jenny's Walk is all over. And I just want to let you all know I read every comment. <laughs> I know you see that. I'm very grateful and thankful for my lovely audience, my devoted audience. Thank you very much, Jenny's Walk. So what I'm going to do here, there's a little steam hole. I know most of you who follow me would know Jenny's Walk like to do all sorts of magic in the kitchen. We're here to learn, share, and create. So slip that in right there. And the pot cover is very snug fit. So you're not going to get that steam to come out. You put it down now on very low and let your broken rice, your jasmine broken rice, here we're making our chepchen, let that cook very beautiful in there. So after 15 minutes, I'm going to give it a little open. Okay, foodies, so here we go with that lovely chepchen rice that we made with all those lovely steamed vegetables, the habanero pepper, the sweet uh, chili peppers, our fish, um, okra, eggplant in the bottom over there. Let's take a look. Our pumpkin over here, very soft and nice. The eggplant is right under there. So you will serve it around on our fish, carrots, cabbage. So my dear foodies, I can't wait to dig in. I am hungry. So here I have my plate. I'm gonna give you a slide over right there. And as you all know, I told you to keep back some of that, that liquid, that broth for garnish. So this is where you will garnish your fish now, just like so. You put a little bit on your vegetables and I'm going to cut some other vegetables too and add them in there. And that onions, you're going to take some of that onions also where you're going to, this is what they, they serve me in the restaurant also, very nice and smoky. Now I know where the taste come from. So let me try some of the chap gen with a piece of this yucca. This looks divine. I can't wait, I'm hungry. Wow, delicious, but I want to try it with a hot pepper. This is marvelous. Mmm, creamy, smoky, a bit spicy. And yes, I am getting that smoky taste and that fishy taste. Wow, just delicious. Lovely dish here from Jenny's Walk bringing in that lovely Senegali flavor back into the kitchen. My dear foodies, give it a try. I'm going to leave in the link above under the recipe where you can get your, your smoked fish, your snails on Amazon. And you could try this dish for yourself at home. Delightful. So thank you for joining me from my kitchen to your kitchen. Happy cooking.